Baby. Damn. Or should I say, sheesh. All right, just got the car back from the paint shop. Pretty stoked, obviously. Gotta put it all together now. Um, but yeah, still gotta do some demasking and um, I gotta be a little careful with it for another day or so. So I'm just gonna do like a cowl and um, you know, just kind of start buttoning, buttoning things up. Um, also got the uh, wiring in the car, the exhaust. So that stuff will go on while it's kind of in this state. Um, I do have to do axle boots and stuff. So that's coming off too. But yeah, just gonna kind of start cleaning up and um, putting it together. Really stoked to be in this stage. Okay, just hooked up a battery. Got a fire extinguisher on hand and ready. Um, I think I have everything plugged in and, and ground attached. Um, got some water in there. I did end up having a leak from uh, this thermostat housing. Um, so I had to take care of that and that was kind of annoying. Um, had to rip some stuff off, but um, yeah, this is gonna be the uh, first start attempt. Um, that being said, I've been yanking um, the uh, fuel and ignition relays out, um, which will let you crank it and uh, build oil pressure before um, you actually start it. So place that down there. Um, so we'll crank this and uh, go until the oil light goes away. Double check the oil level and um, give it a start from there. Last time I did this, I didn't have the battery connections tight. And so when the starter turned over, uh, terminal lost connection and I thought I broke everything. So yeah, it wasn't good. So yeah, key is to get the uh, oil light off and um, it's still dirty in here so don't mind the, the cluster um, but yeah we're in neutral clutch in stuff's on Let's see if it cranks all right it does sweet seems really fast so Check oil level. Okay, so my exhaust isn't actually connected. The thermostat housing is still leaking, so still pretty frustrated about that. But oil level is perfect. I'm going to uh, start the car, hopefully. So this is always nerve wracking, but um, we'll see what happens. plug in the uh, camshaft or crankshaft position sensor so it won't start obviously without it so I have plenty of gas now I have plenty of oil pressure um, that's plugged in so I'm gonna clear codes that's how I found 
did. Now let's uh, try this again. Damn it. Okay, attempt number six or something. And now I have fuel pressure, or fuel. As I unplugged the line, it went everywhere. <clears throat> Reset the computer. I have fuel. Crank sensors plugged in. If this doesn't work, then it is a uh, spark, I guess, I gotta look for. Okay, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but... Oh, come on. That's what I get on the crank sensor wiring. Uh, the other one is nothing, so I'm assuming this is the power wire. But... Yeah, I don't know if that means that it's good or what, but I tried a different crank sensor and I'm still getting no... RPM signal um, over my Bluetooth thing, and I still got no spark. So, well, I put it back together, but it's not um, starting. So I'm still assuming that there's no spark because I can't see RPM. All right, been having tons of problems trying to get this thing started. Just made um, a connector change on the crank position sensor, hoping recording this just because I'm hoping it starts or it tries to because it hasn't for four days all right here goes nothing <laughs> Yes. 